Welcome to all my students for listening to my lecture. Especially, I, I would like to thank for uh, students from Ethiopia and uh, especially in Gondar and Haramea University my services which I have extended to more than 16 years in Ethiopia and which uh, I was so much impressed by most of the, uh, the request and information coming from <coughs> Ethiopia for my lectures so thank you very much so I'm just continuing uh, the lecture which I have given in the tablet uh, for the past <coughs> two lectures which I have given regarding uh, tablet regarding the definitions and their um, evaluation of tablets and even we have discussed in the last uh, lecture regarding the compression machine about the single compress and the multi press um, technology behind and how it works and all the basic basic things which we have discussed in the last class now we are going to tooling and in process control already in process quality control evaluation we have seen some of the hardness friability test dissolution disintegration these all of them also will be performed in the in process quality control test that apart from that we have many type of um, um, possibility of defects in the manufacturing tablets and also some complications which we can manage the chemist and the manufacturing pharmaceutical um, pharmacist and the chemist to have to have an idea about this so in degree level we are knowing about the in process uh, problems which can be solved and analyzed and what is the problem that whenever there is a problem we should know how it is happening why it is happening and how it can be solved also you have to be seen the solution that is also we are going to see in this lecture uh, so we will have a discussion in that so now you see uh, this is a picture which I want to just to show this is drawn by me in paint to show you when you are assembling a compress tablet compress it is necessary for a pharmacist to know about what are the parts in it especially last class we have seen the feed frame we have seen the hopper we have seen the hopper assembly and we have seen the machinery how it works about videos and all we have just discussed in that last class when you see you will have that complete picture of the fast uh, double compression machine and also single compression machine the video which i have shown there and you can see this is the head assembly what do you mean by head assembly means when you take a machinery there will be a pillar you can see the pillar which is drawn there they are the head assembly which holds all the parts of the machinery it needs because it is a fast rotating with pressure it's having lot of parameters which is running over the machine so it needs some strength to hold so that is why the two pillars and the head assembly it will hold the turret Turret means we have discussed that is the die table which holds the dies and the cam tracks and the upper punch <coughs> there will be a turret too and also a lower punch so these all are holders which are heavy metals which has to be strongly hold 
and that is why we need this head assembly where you can see lifting screw to lift them and to always whenever whenever you finish your work it has to be dismantled and you have to maintain the machine properly then only the next batch or next uh, uh, operation will be smooth and it will be running in a smooth manner so here the pharmacist what is his uh, what are the parts which is available if you know when you go to the industry it will be easy for you to understand about the theoretical knowledge and what is the lecture which you receive may be helpful for you see here there is lifting screw which can be lifted by means of two three people can lift or you can chain can be used or a small uh, hook and a crane small crane small instruments which can be used to lift them and there is washers will be there <clears throat> and also you can see in this part especially students should know there is a pressure roll in the bottom and there is a pillar washer that is also that is all in the parts and apart from that you should know there is an external uh, circ clip for the roller push why this all needed because for the movements there will be some oil circulations is also needed because it is rotating in the fast manner but it should not the oils or the lubricant which is moving through the instrument which should not affect the tablet compression machine what we are using because we are using medicine which should not be affected by this oil which is circulating for the lubrication of the machine so that will also will be there the top frame will be there and so these things will be there is a head which will be holding the roller and also the uh, turrets and everything will be under this uh, head assembly and next picture you can see this is the uh, last class what you discuss about cam tracks the cam tracks are the instruments or the parts of the tablet press which has a more responsible lower cam track upper cam track and there is cam tracks will be having filling the dial adjusting the weight and even compressing the tablet ejection cam track so this cam tracks the name itself track it is a track which lift the punches and it it can adjust the punches for moving through the dies and also for a, a lift the dropping down the upper punch from the upper cam track which is moving so that's why it is called cam track so you can see the tablet machine cam that is compression machine this shows about upper cam track only upper cam track assembly i have just drawn to show that cam tracks which has be different shapes and there will be lot of bolts how to we uh, to fix them and there is lot of uh, small small pieces which you can just see it over and also you will be having an oil cup a small and a big will be assembled will be there which will be supplying the oil to movements for this track cam tracks but they will not come for the granules or anywhere which you are using active ingredients it will not come and affect them so that's what the cam track picture which i want to show you and next comes this picture there are many small things which you show but they have many parameters like a small one like this lower cam track screw brackets for lower punch lubricant which is lubricants which are moving through the lower punch and which and an arm for a lower cam guard and you can see there is a doser boss what do you mean by the doser boss that means the amount of tablet powder or amount of granules which you have decided to be filled in the dye is very very important for the weight variation because when you fix a each tablet is having this much weight then it is decided by the doser screw how much the dose is adjusted by the pharmacist that dose will be exactly will be supplied to the dye and it will compress into the tablet and when the weight variation test is done it will be clearly the average weight of the tablet can be determined and also the content can be identified by the quality control people and there will be indicators for the pressure compression spring and weight adjuster dose sprinkle lower cam track and doser these all things you can see the parts small small parts which is necessary to be known by the pharmacist before operating any tablet rotary press 
and now we are coming to the tooling area compression machine tooling this is the place where you are going to discuss today one part is tooling another part is some of the in process quality control analysis or checking so this compression machine tooling the size and the shape of the tablet as well as certain identity marks are determined by the compression machine tooling so tooling means what is tooling mainly tooling means the upper punch lower punch and the die so the type and the shape of the die and the punches will decide what is the shape of the tablet you are going to manufacture and so you can see the different types of punches different shapes of the punch base and their stem how the stem is changed the barrel will be the same but the stem of the end of the stem will be different some will be oval some will be round some will be concave and convex type of different types of the end part of the punch stem will be changed so you can see each tooling set consists of a die upper and lower punches since each tablet is formed by a tooling set tooling set because die is different and punches different it cannot be they all three will be i should have the relationship so a tooling will have two upper punch lower punch and a die so since each tablet formed by a tooling set the tooling must meet many requirements to satisfy the needs of dosage uniformity production efficiency and aesthetic appearance of the tablet aesthetic appearance is very very important because nowadays patients need a satisfaction before consuming any oral dosage forms and elegant appearance so appearance aesthetic appearance is also plays a major role in production of tablet you can see this slide showing the two two upper punch lower punch and die one set which is shown in this right side below my video and in this side you can see in the left side of me you can see there is two three uh, three dies only are kept but many punches are kept just for an example not all punches can be used for only these three dies if there is a punch uh, for example we have taken all three because once you can see there is one punch is carry punch is having two uh, stem also punch are kept there a stem with two stem that means two tablets can be compressed with one punch there are even 10 tablets can be punched by one punch upper punch and lower punch and dies will be have 10 die cavity this type of a uh, tooling is also available now for fast production of small dosage forms unit dosage forms and now most common tooling employed are referred to be as bb tooling and are 5.25 inches in length and have a normal barrel diameter of 0.74 inches and 1 inch head diameter head and you should know what is a head there is a head and a stem for an for a, any type of punch upper punch lower punch head is that is the hold to be in the turret or the movement of the punches will have a hold that is why there is a head and a barrel and a stem in the or uh, each and every punches so b tooling is identified to bb type except they are that are that that the lower punch are only 3 9 by 16 inch long that is 3 9 by 16 inch is long is so if you come for in millimeter you know that 25.5 millimeter is equal to 1 inch so according to that we used to calculate the length of the punch and detailing is popular for large tablets Yes, large tablets and one inch barrel diameter, one 
a quarter that means 1 1 by 4 inch head diameter and 5.25 inch length length 5.25 inch length the die that are used with the above punch are either a 0.94 inch outside diameter OD that means outside diameter die capable making 7 by 16 inch round tablet 7 by 16 inch that means it is even the point it is of very minimum that means of uh, 2 uh, millimeter round tablet of 9 by 16 inch capsule shaped tablets can be done or 1 3 by 16 inch outer diameter die capable of shaped tablets is also done by this tooling. So, not only D tooling and B tooling is available nowadays there are many types of tooling. Tooling means it given some, some code or a number or a letter for different specific shape of the tablets. You might have seen in the market there are different shapes and different size of tablets according to the dosage, according to the label time, the size and the shapes is decided by the pharmacist and the company. So, this is a picture just to show you, I told something 1 million that is 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter that is the parameter which you measure in metric system which here I have given in the millimeter size which I have mentioned there B tooling you can see head diameter means what I have mentioned there it is 25.27 millimeter and there 3 by 4 it is written 19 millimeter we have mentioned there. So, 19 means it is less than an inch, inch means 25.4 millimeter is equal to 1 inch. You can see here the D tooling 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter we have mentioned. So, in the head, head that means the top of the head the, the diameter is 31.5 millimeter and the barrel you can see it is 25.35 millimeter. Height of the punch you can see 133.6 that means equal to 5.25 inches. 33.5 millimeter, they give 1 million, 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter means 33.6 millimeter means you can just calculate it is 5.25 inch already we have written in the last before slide and when you come into a die, the die bore you can see die diameter, the outer diameter and the height is 23.8 86 81 millimeter and the diameter is 38.1 uh, millimeter the outer and inner diameter you can see 30.16 and the depth of the die bore is 22.2 .2 millimeter. So, this millimeter can be also seen in the inches also. So, we know the 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter by that you can identify. That is about upper point and lower point also you have seen that the picture which I have given how the stem and what is the distance between the stem and what is the even the what is the stem length this also plays a major role and stem stem base the shape diameter is also decided according to the shape which you need to perform the tablet compression machine will be decided. So, now we are coming to that is just to have an understanding. So, the students who is listening to this lecture, they should know that what is a tablet tooling. It has three parts, two punches, one upper punch and lower punch and a die and the punch is having a length minimum of 5.25 inches. So, when you say that if you want to say millimeter it is 133.6 millimeter. Why? Because 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter and by that diameters of the barrel, diameter of the head and the tip and the length of the stem, length of the stem of the punch, everything is should be noted by the pharmacist and the tooling will differ from one tablet to another tablet and shape of the tablet according to the pharmacist as well as the company's design.
and the dosage form which you are going to prepare whether it is a large tablets or a small tablets and weight variations according to that you will decide according to the size of the tablets you can decide the tooling several types of steels now what is the material can be used that is also very important because it is a fast machine compression machine rotates in the fast manner and it use many pressure tons of energy is used horsepower horsepower is more so it needs some strength over to withstand the power or the pressure given to that particular metal so on what metal it can be used several types of steel are normally used in manufacturing of compression tooling these steels differ in toughness to which stand the cyclic compacting forces ductility and in wearing resistance what do you mean by wearing resistance we may all have small parts from the punches by means of the pressure which is given there unfortunately no single steel type has a high resistance to abrasive wear abrasive by by means of friction some parts or a small part if it is removed in the punches base it will differ the weight uniformity and integrity and also it will differ the elegant of the tablet formulation part will be removed lamination capping everything may happen in the tablet so abrasiveness of the metal is very very important wearing a very very ductility therefore the selection of the best steel from a specific application must be based on experienced and an accumulated history of the product being tabulated in the selection of proper steel for a specific use one should also consider the shape of the punch tip whether or not debossing is to be employed on the tooling the expected compression force involved bossing debossing means where you put any letter e a b or some depression if you put some designs in the tablet it will make debossing the powder may go inside and so that you should know that what type of debossing you are using if suppose you are using some minute wax shapes then the metal should be very strong enough to be made that withstand that particular design which you are making it so that is why we are telling about you should know that debossing size of the tablet and expected compression force which you are going to use whether the material is is purpose and which is abrasive or corrosive these all things have to be decided before preparing one tool for a tablet compression machine the shape and the size and toner toner shape and the size and the toner of a tablet almost unlimited within a given limits and a specific die size so die size according to the die size you can decide the tablet and you see this is some example some picture which i have shown here already we have seen that punches die sets and you can see there is some instrument which can be kept in the compression machine like tablet d duster and dust extraction unit is also needed because the outside dust or the powder which can come even it can affect the pharmacist who is working there or employer who is standing there the workers may be affected by means of the drug powder which can be so we have to be cover and also the dust de duster instrument should be there and also it can be used before cleaning and also dismantling the instrument and also the next batch when you are adding you have to completely remove the granules and the powder which can be present in the different parts of the instrument and you see this one another one i have kept one die with many many die cavities more than 
20 tablets can be produced in one compression. There is upper punch, lower punch and same method is also possible. If the tablets are very very small of 10 milligram, 5 milligram tablets can go for this type of compression so that they can finish it very early, very fast compression tablets can be obtained. You know very well there is fast compression machine up to 2000 tablets can be produced within a minute. There are many many fast tablet machines are available computerized nowadays. And this is just a tablet column made for you to know just a very very minimum amount of tablet machine in a tablet column. There are many tablet machines apart from the thousands of the tooling are there. But this just uh, taken about D tooling and BB tooling to say that some instrument which are available. You see that number of stations 21, 27, 33, 35, 45, 45, 55, 65, 71. You, we have discussed this before only. They are odd number station. There is no even number. That means double compression machine. Fast machine. Two places you will get compression by means of keeping rollers. If it's a single, you can use even number. There is no problem. But in a double, two places at a time, compression is not allowed. As I told last class, we have decided. Then the turret will be lifted if it is. That is why odd number stations are always used. So be very simple physics when you see a circle. If you make a line... A diameter, there will be two points in the circle circumference. So when you put a holes in a circle area, it will be an even number. So why, if you put odd number, one is missing. So never the die holes in the turret will come in straight line. And it will support for the machine not to get damaged, to get the compression in same time. As it is a fast rotating machine, this is one avoiding the machine damage by means of keeping stations in odd numbers. 23, 27, 33, 35, 45, 55, 65 and 71. Here there is double rotatory and heavy uh, rotary machine and heavy duty and light duties. That is why how it is decided. Maximum compression pressure can be used. In certain, they are given in 10, 6.5 in tons. Power horsepower, we have given the maximum horsepower can be fastest machine to, to 71. Still more, there are many. And turret RPM, rotation of the die table, turret, maximum and minimum. We have given maximum of 50 RPM is also for given for the 71 uh, heavy duty machine station. An output of the tablet you see in per minute, 7,100 tablet can be produced by 71 station machine. That means you just imagine in one minute, one second, you can get divided by 60, you can get more than 100 tablets can be produced within a second. So how much fast it will be rotated, just imagine. It's very, very fast machine. And the net weight of that machine is... 1500, 1 1.5 ton and 3 tons these heavy machines are usually and that area which they needed this much millimeter size that needed usually tablet machines are kept in ground floor because of their heaviness, vibration and the power which is needed and rotational energy which is taking place may give vibration to the building so it will be kept in the ground floor. So this tablet column, I have given a small details about different types of tooling and machines which is available in the market. But there are many more than this, many many tooling, many many types of instruments and bigger instruments, computerized and fastest machines are also available. And now you can see just a video to show you regarding the tooling just to what we have discussed. And we can, you can see the video which will give you, see the movement of the upper punch inside the die and the turret is moving. And just to show you, this is an animated and also you can see how the punch is head and the, is moving. So when you talk about tooling 3, uh, upper punch, 
die and this is lower punch lower punch is seen be below my video screen and you can see this is the three parts of the two lane so when you come to this punch there will be a stem length and you can see there is an uh, even in the head will be that is the head the the round which is the head and the head will also have a diameter and also a length of the head can also be seen in this video this is head diameter and the neck there will be a diameter and head will be flat <coughs> outer head diameter under head angle <coughs> this all will be there and any punches there will be some slight provision uh, uh, provisions which can lock in the turret so that it can be removed when you want otherwise it can be fixed so there will not be any shake or any movements when the when the machine is working this is we are talking about the stem of the punch lower punch and the upper punch also will have the stem length barrel stem camphor which is the length will differ which gives the pressure can be changed by this and the tip and how the tip is sometimes it is straight sometimes it is curved concave sometimes it is convex sometimes the designs can also be changed cup depth you see this is concave depth will be there what is the depth which is kept over there is also plays a major role it just should be very sharp and clean and it should be maintained properly after a batch is over and tip face you see tip face very very important part of that if there is a worn if there is a broken a small piece finished your tablet will be completely damaged you will have an error tablet will come so you have to check all the punches and overall length of a punch is also we needed according to the machine you are selecting the overall length and working length from the top to the edge of the punch working length and also you can see this the die how the die length die bore face of the die and the die bore and the diameter of the die outer diameter inner diameter and the depth and there is a groove for the die which can be fixed in the die table in the turret die hole it can be fixed so there will be very very important parameters will be there it will be fixed in such a way and it will be comfortably moving without any shake so tooling is very important when you want to study about a tablet machine i hope it will be very much helpful when you see a uh, videos when you get some time it is internet there are many many videos are available it's possible for the students to refer that and now we are coming to in addition tooling can be made with certain other information to aid in producing a visibly unique tablet product company names sometimes they are written or a symbol trade names dosage length or national drug code and numbers can be cut or encoded in the punch face and the punches may be sc scored to produce uniquely embossed and encoded tablets so you see now to avoid tooling damage compressive loads or pressures at the pressure roll must be translated into a calculation of the pressure at the punch tips as tablet punch diameter decreases less force is required to produce the same pressure at the punch face see this point i have made it into darker 
just I am reading again, a tablet, as tablet punch diameter decreases, less force is required to produce the same pressure at the punch phase. So this is very simple logic. What you want to say is, when you reduce the diameter of the punch, the face diameter, if you are giving the diameter is small, then what is the requirement of the pressure? You can the less force is required to produce the same pressure at the punch phase. So, when it is a small phase, it means pressure is less. When it is a big phase, you have to give more pressure. So, that is why the pressure how much given is according to the that is circumference. That means, for example, according to the sir, that is uh, 2 pi r, that means r pi r square, you can see the surface area, that is circle, the unit area, what is its so that, that area, the diameter and the circumference. So, this place and the area of the circle which is produced, if it is a round tablet or if it is in square or a tablet, whatever may be the area of the punch decides what is the pressure you have to give. Since the face represents the small fraction of unit area, so the square unit area of the base of the punch plays a major role for making the pressure given to the tablet, to the machine for making the tablet. So the formula for the area of circle, we know that pi r square, r is the radius of the circle in the base of the punch, given a flat punch, a free face, an example, the area of as it is 1 by 4 inch, just imagine it is 1 by 4 inch. And what will be the area if it is 1 by 4? Pi r square, pi value is 3.14 into diameter is 1 by 4. So, radius is 1 by 8 and square. What will be the value? When you 1 by 8 into square means it became 1 by 64. So, 3.14 into 1 by 64 is approximately 1 by 20. If you calculate, you will get 1 by 20 square inch. So, what is the meaning? 1, 1 by 20 square inch is the area of the punch, the base. So, if 1 ton load <coughs> is given, 1 ton power you are given, apply it to the pressure roll. What is the, <coughs> what is the translated pressure pound will come to the tip? 2000 pounds on 1 by 20, you will get 1 ton if you give, <coughs> it says that it will give 2000 pounds on 1 by 20 square inch or you can say 40,000 pounds on 1 square inch or gross overload. So, now you just imagine the size, you are increasing the size, your size is now, what is the size? <coughs> the tip of the punch, you are given diameter 1 by 4 inch. 1 by 4 means quarter, 0.25 inch you can take. Suppose if you are giving little more bigger tablet, for 1 by 4 inch you have given, you are telling that 40 pounds square inch gross overload should be given. So, suppose you are taking a diameter of 1 by 2, just giving an example. Go for the calculation again. So, 1 by 2 is the diameter means, what will be the formula? 3.14, that means pi into 1 by 4 means, you will put 1 by 2 means, what will be the you have to give the, the, the what will be the, the uh, radius, it will be 1 by 4. Am I right? So, 1 by 4 the square, instead of 1 by 8, it will become 1 by 4 square. <coughs> or the value will become 1 by 16. Am I right? 3.14 into 1 by 16, because 8, uh, 4 squares are 
16. 8 squares are 64, 4 squares are 16. So, 1 by 16. So, approximately, <coughs> if we see 1 by 16 into 3.14, uh, it can be approximately, um, we can say that is 3.14 divided by 1 by 16. Uh, so, you can uh, make about uh, 16 for, uh, you can go for 1 by 4 square inch approximately, I am not telling, 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 means it will become 400 pounds. So, when the size is increased, the base the pounds of the power comes down 400 pounds and inch is enough and this will become 4000 pounds square inch of gross upload. So that is what we have written. As the punch diameter decreases less force is required to produce a same pressure to the punch face. Okay. So, the punch face needs the less pressure to make tablets. This is the example calculation. You can just write down and make it yourself comfortable. A simple calculation. You can try to find out how much pressure have to be given, what is the diameter and how to convert into radius and to make a multiplication calculation. Finding out what is the pressure in tons can be applied. I hope you can understand. And next you can see axillary equipments. There are some more axillary pieces of equipments that increases the efficiency of the tablet compression operation. In many cases, the speed of the die table is such that the dwell time of the die under the feed frame too short to allow the adequate cons cons consistent gravity filling of the die to the granulation. In fact, if you want to understand what is written in that slide and what I have read is very simple to understand that is the gravitational force alone cannot help the fill the dice properly according to the weight dosage which you have adjusted because it is rotating very fast and a second you can see in a second if you want to have 50 tablets, 60 tablets to be compressed this thing will get affected, the filling of the die table within fast. So that's what we have written there. So how to do it? How can we can achieve this problem can be solved? Improper filling will take place because of the fast movement of the turret. And the die filling will be affected. Once the die filling is affected, the tablet weight variation will come and the content variation will come. The total unsatisfactory weight variation of the content will be obtained. So, you can see improper filling of dye with granulation results in unsatisfactory weight variation and content uniformity of the resulting tablet can be seen. A similar result can occur with poor flowing granulation also. Flow property, if it is not proper, that will also take place. To help eliminate this problem, Mechanical feeders can be kept. The feeder will be shaking so that you can see in machinery when you are going for some mills, they used to have a mechanical shakers for the feeders so that the flow property can be increased and the granulation filling in the dies can be easily employed. Can be employed to force the granulation into the dies because of relative low volume of press hoppers. The filling of hoppers by hand or high speed press presses, presses is insufficient, increasing the risk of punch damage. If using the hand or something equipments, you can use mechanical equipment and can contribute weight variation problem. Therefore, mechanized vibrational movement equipments has been employed to load granulation into press hoppers that is also available and electronic monitoring devices such as Thomas tablet 
sentinel pharma control and the kelen control system mc monitor the force at each compression station which correlates with the tablet weight these monitors are capable of initiating corrective action altering the amount of dye fill to maintain a fixed force ejecting tablet that are out specification counting and documentation of the machine operating throughout the run in most all cases tablet coming off tablet machine bear excess powder and are run through the tablet b duster to remove the excess powder which is coming out and now we are coming to in process quality control already in in process quality control we have seen we have come across in the beginning itself the definition first class first my lecture itself in tablet i have told about different types of tablet and immediately i started with the evaluation of the tablet because you should know about hardness friability disintegration dissolution and weight variation test which we have already studied and now apart from that there are many problems which they will face during manufacturing so that is very important so that how to solve this problems and how they are coming to effect in the instrument these things can be discussed now see during the compression of tablet in process test are routinely run to monitor the process including test for tablet weight weight variation hardness thickness disintegration and various evaluation of elegance the in process test are performed by production and or quality control personnel in addition many in process test are performed during product development by the formulator the data supplied by the formulator is usually employed by qc personnel to establish the test limit at the start up of the tablet compression operation the identity of the granulation is verified along with the setup of the proper tablet machine and the proper tooling these all things are very very important while before operating or before starting a batch of tablet manufacturing and processing problems now you see the picture there are capping lamination will takes place tablets can the top can be removed capping top can be added why how and how to solve it capping and lamination capping is the term used to describe the partial or complete separation of the top or bottom crowns of the tablet from the main body of the tablet as you seen in the picture lamination is the separation of the tablet into two or more distinct layer usually these processing problems are readily apparent immediately after compression how you can see why see there is a picture which i showed in the diagram before my just below my video you can see there one area broken in the punches may cause like that even dies it will cause this type of problems you can see first one here the list of problems for solution punches tip on or have poor finish what you will do recondition or replace the punches or change the punches no other option fines in the granules if there is more fines it will also affect your compression capping will occurs lamination will occurs 
reduce the excess fines from the granules. And capping and lamination in the granules are, is too dry also. Increase the moisture in the granules. Air entrapped in the granules will also cause capping and lamination. Use pre-compression or increase density of the granulation. Compression occurs in too low in the dye Adjust the compression. Adjust the compression machine. Movement of the dye. Punches into the dye. Top of the dyes you just adjust. Tonnage pressure is not set correctly also will cause lamination and capping. Adjust the pressure accordingly. Tablet takeoff is not adjusted properly means if suppose collection of the tablet is made by tablet takeoff plate which is fixed in the feed frame. If you are not fixed properly that will hit the tablet and it will also cause capping and lamination problem. Lower punch takeoff plate but do not con contact the die table, you have to fix it properly, the takeoff plates. And now we are coming to, lamination and capping is finished. Now we are coming to picking and sticking. This is also another issue which comes in the tablet compression machine. Picking is a term which is described the surface material from a tablet which is picked that is sticked to the being removed from the tablets surface by a punch punch removing some part of the tablet powder from the tablet after compression so that picking is particularly concerned when punches tips are n card or embossed if there is a design or n card or A, B, C or H any design is made or a curve is made these type of things will make issues for this picking problem from the tablet which is compressed. Small enclosed area such as those found let us B, A, O are difficult to manufacture cleanly. You have to perfectly you have to clean or if you are not perfectly cleaning the letters which is mentioned in the tablets and in the in the punch base will make this type of picking and sticking issue tablet material especially picking tablet materials that stick to the punches can accumulate at the point of the obliterating the tip design sticking refers to the tablet adhering to the dice picking is to the punches. Sticking is referred to the adhering to the die walls. When sticking occurs, additional force is overcome and friction between the tablet and dies wall during ejection. So serious sticking in the ejection can cause chipping of the tablet edge can produce a rough edge. Also, a sticking problem does not allow the lower punch free movement and therefore place unusual stress to the cam track and punches heads resulting in their damage. You cannot see one all will damage. Within a second everything will break if you are not properly seeing if there is any type of sticking issues or sticking problem in the powder. See, in this picture I have shown that the picking of some portion from the compressed tablet in the punches, even the picture shows there is an, it's, it just picks the powder from the dye. If there is E or F any letters in the tablet, these type of problems will arise. Sticking can also apply to the build up of material on the punch faces also. And planting the punch faces. So how to solve this? <clears throat> you have to put the punch faces in chromium. Is a method to produce smooth, non-adherent face. So that it will be helpful. In some cases colloidal silica can be added in the formula. Resulting as a polishing agent. Makes the punch faces smooth. 
and material does not cling to them. So, solution is given. You can use it chromium dipping in the punch and make it polish or you add silica in the formulation. Low melting point, these points, pharmacist should know, this is all physical chemical properties which you have studied before and you are utilizing that knowledge in the mechan, in the, in the instrument as an, in, an engineering purpose. You see, low melting point substances, either active ingredient or an additives which you are adding binders, diluents such as stearic acid and polyethylene glycol may soften they may also soften sufficiently from the heat compression and cause ticking. So, suppose if you have a material which is low melting point substance or any substances like stearic acid, polyethylene glycol or so, they may also cause this type of sticking due to they are getting softened due to the temperature which is arised due to the compression machine's speed. Dilution of the activity ingredient an additional high melting point material will solve this problem and consequently increase the size of the tablet. You can increase the size of the tablet also may help this issue. Instead of going for a small type, you can just increase the size of the tablet that also can help for this sticking issues uh, in the machine. Excess moisture may be responsible for sticking also that is one for problem. So further dyeing of the granulation is then required and then moisture control, then you can go for compression. So, in one slide, we have discussed a lot of simple problems. You can write many points, but you should write clearly how to solve this sticking in the tablet compression machine. I hope students can understand this in interesting basic theoretical knowledge and also my practical experience will help you to more study and apply in your future when you go for a manufacturing unit. Mottling. What do you mean by mottling? Mottling means it is talking about a coloring or one area which is collectively dark, another area is light. That is what we are calling is a mottling. Sometimes coating, coloring, this is also one type of problem. Sometimes colors will be mixed in the tablet itself not coating, it's tablet itself, the powder will be made into color by means of adding the coloring agent in the mixing area itself. So, mottling is unequal distribution of the color on the tablet which give you inelegant and the patient will not be interested and also no uniformity will be there. So, with light and the dark areas standing out and other sides and uniform, uniform surface. So, one cause a mottling in a drug whose color differs from the tablet excipients or drug whose deter, de degrade product and colored or colored. So, degradation product are colored. So, that is also may cause. So, the use of colorants may solve the above problems but may create others. A dye can cause mottling Migrating to the surface of the granulation during drying, that also cause o overcome this difficulty. The formulator may change the solvent system. You can change the solvent system. Instead of aqueous solvent, you can go for a small increasing disagrees in polarity or something. When you change, it can also solve this problem. Binder changing, the, it can solve the problem. Reduce the drying temperature, it can solve the problem. Grinding to small particle size also, it can solve the problem. And use the coloring agent of different compression formulation leads to mottling if the dye is not used, dispersed properly and the particular size is too large. So, dispersion of the particles of the coloring material is very, very important without mottling. It should not have any uniform coloring should be there so that you can solve all these problems. Problem will arise by solvent system, problem will arise by drying, problems will dry arise by the particle size, problems will arise by the chemical migration of the particles, uh, particles, these all degradation of the um, uh, coloring material which you have used. So, these are the problems which can be solved by means of this changing of all these issues. And weight variation, the weight of a being compressed 
is determined by amount of granulation is to in the dye prior to compression. Therefore, anything that can alter the dye filling process can alter the tablet weight and tablet weight variation. So, weight will be changed if the dye is not filled properly. So, that's why we told dye filling is very important. We used even mechanical feeders, gravitation alone, which cannot trust to get filling, uniform filling in the dye for the compression. So, granule size and size distribution before compression, variation in the ratio of small to large granules in the magnitude of difference between granule size influence how the space between particles are filled. Thus, the apparent volume in the dye is essentially the same. Different portion of the large and the small particles may change the weight of fill in each dye. So, it can be solved by this means. Furthermore, if large granules are being used, what is the result? You see, to fill small dye cavity, relatively gaps will be there, relatively few granules are required and difference of only a few granules around the average and represent high percentage of weight variation because the granules are very big. Once you lose one granule, the weight variation will be high. But if it is hundreds of granules, smaller granules are used. If one or two, if you are missing, there will be a minor weight variation will be there. That is the difference you can mention. If hundreds of granules are required to average of diphyl, the variation in few granules around the average would produce a minor weight variation, gives an arrow particle size range. Next comes the flow property, powder flow. is also having an influence. The dye filling process is based on the continuous and uniform flow of granulation to the hopper through the feed frame. When the granules does not flow readily, it tends to move spasmodically, slowly and through the feed frame. So, some dyes are incomplete filling, weight variation will take place. Some similarly dyes are not filled properly when machine speed is also excess, granulation flow capacity, the speed is more and the granulation flow capacity is also changed. There is also missing of dye filling. With poor flow, flow the addition of glidants such as talc or colloidal silica or an increase in amount of all already present can be helpful. Depending on the geometry of the hopper, geometry of the hopper, the situation may arise to the poor flow due to arcing, bridging and rat holing. You may be knowing all these things when you are mixing studied in your engineering, you might have studied arcing, bridging, rat holing, makes the flow property to be dropped down and illustrate these phenomena. So, when poor flow, poor hopper, flow occurs, it may be controlled by vibrators as we mechanical vibrator attached to the hopper side and induce the granulation flow that we have discussed little before. And poor mixing also. Sometimes the lubricants and guidance are not thoroughly distributed. We are using lubricants and guidance like talc, magnesium, stearate, you might have studied in your excipients. And the flow of the particles is then impaired and the granules do not move efficiently into the dyes. There is a tendency to minimize the mixing time during lubricant addition to prevent or reduce granule friability. However, inadequate mixing at this stage can result unsatisfactory granulation flow. So, punch variation is also another one problem. When lower punch or unequal length the differs, maybe only a few thousands of an inch, the fill is each die varies because of fill in volumetric. Only a good punch and a die control program 
can provide tooling of uniform dimensions. Hardness variation, hardness already we have seen, hardness variation is a problem that can cause as weight variation even. Hardness depends on weight of the material and the space between upper and the lower punches at the movement of the compression. So adjusting the press is also very important. The cam track plays a major role adjustment. If the volume of the material or the distance between the punches varies, hardness is likely to inconsistent. What do you mean by double impression? Now double impression is also possible. When there is some letters, when there is some markings, there is double impression is also possible. The last problem for the discussion is that double impression. Double impression. This involves only punches and have a monograph or other encarving on them. Now the compression the tablet receives the imprint of the punch, sometimes imprinting the punch. On some machines the lower punch is free to drop, then travels uncontrolled for a short distance before it rides up to the eject can push the tablet out of the die. During its free travel, it rotates. When the punch comes, sometimes there is some rotation. That's why we have some lock. If there is some difference in the lock, they may rotate little. So that makes double impression. So at this point, they make a new, although lighter impression on the bottom of the tablet, resulting in double imprint. Similar problem can be encountered in card upper punch also. The tablet machine and utilize the two compression stages and compress a tablet. The first stage, pre-compression, uses a lower compaction force. Then the final compression stage, but the tablet does not receive the imprint of the punch. If the upper punch is uncontrolled, it can rotate, it can also rotate a short travel to the final compression stage and thus creates a double imprint. So anyhow, we have discussed about all the problems and toolings in my, this lecture. Thank you for listening and when I get time, Again, I will continue this tablet chapter in the next lecture for manufacturing procedures. We have come. This is the third lecture I am just giving for tablet. Still more tablet is having some procedures of manufacturing like granulation, dry granulation, wet granulation, direct compression like that. Many are there and coating also. We will make it short with like degree level. See you. Thank you for being with me.